New category in version 1.1 is Supply Chain Risk Management, IDSC. The organization's priorities, constraints, risk tolerances, and assumptions are established and used to support risk decisions associated with managing the supply chain risk. The organization has established and implemented processes to identify, assess, manage supply chain risks. Again, uh, if you're watching this in 2021, then there's something that's been on the radar in the last few months that should make this very, very applicable. The first subcategory within this new category is IDSC1. Supply chain risk management processes are identified, established, assessed, managed, and agreed to by organizational stakeholders. So are you looking at how your organization is connected to, deals with, shares data with anybody within or showing up inside of your supply chain or your vendor, known as vendor risk management. This is a very complicated area and a control set that I'm glad NIST was able to uh, implicitly provide as a control to now follow, bumping up the control set from 98 to 108. If you look at your organization and who your suppliers are and who their vendors are, can you? Can you even do that today? Uh, do you have the ability to identify who your suppliers are, who their vendors are? What accesses do these suppliers have? What accesses do your vendors underneath those suppliers have through your suppliers to you? Do you understand who they are? Are they agreed to? Do you have an understanding of what subcontractors have the ability to work within your organization underneath the guise of a supplier? Are there any vendors that are shared within your supply chain between vendors? Do you hold them to have the same type of rights accesses? Do you know what type of you know, data these vendors have access to, whether it's intellectual property or anything else? Okay. This is something that needs to obviously be looked at uh, because if you don't, we can be uh, in a very, very tight spot as we are seeing right now at the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021. Um, looking at your supply chain, you need to begin looking at your supply chain. You need to start having some processes and you start managing it. You need to identify and establish who, what, where, and how they are accessing your organization. and you as a leader as a leader and your organization need to agree to and manage how this is done on a go forward basis this cannot be ad hoc it needs to be tied closely to your procurement and your legal efforts with the suppliers in your contracting but then there needs to be obviously the IT uh, components to be able to manage what these accesses are when do they begin when do they end and how high of accesses do these folks have and what are you doing to vet those accesses or governing them as we have seen through other NIST controls?